Welcome to Going Carnivore in Thailand. I'm here. It's pool time. It's not necessarily early in the morning. I sort of slept in this morning. Got up in the middle of the night and then went back to sleep and slept in. So, what's up in carnivore land today? Well, I'm here having my iced coffee in the pool, which is very nice. And I am hungry. So I think that today's agenda, well, let's go last yesterday's agenda. Yesterday's agenda was half of a ribeye at lunchtime, which it, it's almost lunchtime now. Uh, and then at night, we had air fried middle wings from chicken. And uh, we don't season them at all. They're naked wings. We put them in the air fryer and they come out crispy and nice. And to be honest, sometimes you just get tired of eating pure steak all the time. I don't know how that Ferrigno guy does it. It's amazing. He eats nothing but ribeyes and salt and water. And that's it. Ribeyes, salt, and water. And that's all he eats. No variety whatsoever. I, I guess it takes time to get to that. But this morning, I think I'm going to scramble a couple eggs, maybe two or three eggs scramble, and eat the other half of that steak once I get out of the pool and take a shower. And basically, that's the carnivore section today. Uh, what else is going on? Well, yesterday we had an incident where we lost all the water out of the tank. And there was no water coming out. And the pump was making weird noises. Because it actually has a pressure pump that pumps that water through the house. And we found out that the pool guy had left the fill valve on for the pool, which emptied our thousand gallons of house water into the pool. And it goes up slowly, so you don't really notice it. So we couldn't get any water and had to call the landlord, and they'd come over and jack around. They don't know what they're doing either. Uh, but they figured it all out, and they have their plumber guy named Ninja who came, and we found uh, one of the pipes was leaking, and the owner of the property, he put a brand new, big, big, I mean, three foot long, no, two foot long, six inch wide filter. Looked a lot like a uh, air filter to a car, but he put that in the water system, and and they, uh, they back flushed out the, the, uh, deal. And then they said that they were going to be back. And in the meantime, I took a nap. And by the time I woke up from the nap, I look at the pool and the water's coming over the top of the pool and it's just running into the yard. And we figured out where all the water was going. So we had to turn the, turn the pool into drain mode. And stop that. It's comedy errors. And then once we got the water squared away and the leaking valve fixed, and then the pump had air in the sensing system, and they had to call another plumber guy in to figure out that thing. Uh, so then we got water back, and I said, oh, that's good. And what happened? My VPN connection to the U.S., started acting crazy as heck and was shuddering and you could barely watch anything on the on TV that had to have the VPN. So it was just like, what else could break yesterday? So on days like that, I have to remember that I'm blessed. I'm here in a wonderful place with beautiful, beautiful greenery, 
beautiful weather, wonderful people, a fantastic woman. I'm blessed. Okay, was I aggravated yesterday? Yeah, okay. It was a little aggravating. It's aggravating to know you have a three-bedroom pool villa and you can't go to the bathroom in any of them because there's no water to, to flush the toilet with. So, I guess the moral of the story is the same as what I espoused a few days ago, if you might miss that video, is you have to ask yourself every time you run into a problem. Five years from now, will this make a difference in your life? And if the answer is no, don't sweat the small stuff. With that, thanks for watching. That's all, folks.